So in our last lesson, we talked about how Earth's rotation on its axis causes us to experience that cycle of day and night. And when we look at the sun in the sky, you know, ancient people actually believed that the Earth was at the center of the universe and the sun revolved around the Earth because as we look at the sun in the sky, it's like it tends to move across the sky at different points in the day. But what we're really seeing is not the sun moving, but we're seeing the effect of Earth's rotation because as Earth is rotating, different parts of Earth are facing the Sun, and if we're in one spot on Earth, the Sun's not moving, but we're actually moving relative to the Sun as we rotate around. And that's what's causing the Sun's position to change, that's what causes it to be dark at nighttime, that's what causes the Sun to come up in the morning. So today we're going to be looking at a little project that we can do to see how we move compared to the Sun's position, and it's by making a tool called a sundial. And this is something we can think of as an ancient form of a clock that doesn't use batteries, it doesn't use electricity, but it uses the sun's position in the sky to help us determine what time it is. And this is something you can do at home, it's really simple to make, all we need is a dowel rod, a pencil, a stick, anything like that will work. A little piece of modeling clay and some chalk or something that I can mark on the pavement here with just to mark where the sun is at a particular time. So we're going to come over here, we're going to make this, and we're going to show you how it works. Alright, so let's get this sundial made and then we'll show you how we can use it. And it's really, really simple to set this up. You can do it on a sidewalk, a driveway, um, any kind of hard surface right here so you know that everything's flat and that you can mark on with our chalk so that we can tell where the position of the sun is. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this ball of clay and just stick the dowel rod down in it and that'll let us kind of stick this onto the pavement here and we just want to make sure that our dowel rod's pointing fairly straight up and down. We don't want it at a big angle or anything or that might affect our ability to see the shadows. Because what we're using to measure the position of the sun is not the sun itself but it's actually the sun's shadow here. And you can see that our dowel rod's casting a shadow to my right which means that the sun is over here on my left. So the way that we're going to tell where the position of the sun is, we're going to make a mark here right on the shadow using my chalk, and I'm just going to write the time. So we've got our line here now showing us where the position of the shadow was, and the time right now, it's about 1.45 in the afternoon, so we're just going to write the time here. And the idea with the sundial, in order for us to actually see the movement of the sun, we're going to come back and check it periodically here over the next hour or so and we'll see how much the sun's position actually moves over the course of the afternoon. So it's been about 45 minutes since we set our sundial up and we set it up, we set it 145 in the afternoon and right now it's about 2.30 in the afternoon and you can see already our shadows moved quite a bit here almost like the hands of a clock moving around as the time passes during the day. And like we mentioned earlier, we can think of this as a clock that doesn't require a battery, that doesn't require electricity, it just requires sunlight and a change in the position of the sun as the earth rotates. So we're going to go ahead and mark our next observation here and label this as 2.30. So we can see just how much the sun's changed in less than an hour already. And what I'd like you to try with your sundial is to actually chart this over the course of most of the daylight hours. If you put this out in the morning and you went back and checked it every hour, I'd like for you to try that and just see how much does the position change over the course of the whole day. I'm only going to make these two marks on mine, but on yours you can test out more times and you can really watch just how much the position of the sun is changing as the Earth's rotating. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you have fun doing this activity at home. And we'll be back next time with a lesson talking about other ways that the Earth moves in space in addition to rotating on its axis.